When I first saw the movie How to Train Your Dragon, I immediately fell in love with the imagery and the story of Hiccups and Toothless. So imagine my delight when I first found out that this series isn't only a series, it's actually a trilogy, with the third movie being released of June of 2016. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one enchanted by this movie, considering the whole entire original voice cast from the first movie has returned for the sequel. I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious right now that How to Train Your Dragon 2 is your movie moment for today. We've really got to work on your solo gliding there, bud. Toothless! <laughs> You're pouting, big baby boo! <laughs> we'll try this on! Oh, you feeling it yet? Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't hurt a one-legged. <laughs> <laughs> It's been five years since Hiccup and Toothless successfully united Vikings and Dragons on the island of Burke. Now, while the rest of their friends are challenging each other to dragon races, the island's new contact sport, the two inseparable friends spend their time journeying throughout the skies and exploring new worlds. While on one of their journeys, they discover a secret ice cave that is home to millions of wild new dragons, as well as the mysterious dragon rider. This ends up putting them at the center of a battle to protect both humans and dragons. Oh, this is amazing! What happened here? What could have done this? So Delaney, I understand it's your birthday and you've come down to see How to Train Your Dragon 2. How are you liking the movie so far? It's a really good movie. Do you have any favorite parts so far? No, not yet. <laughs> now, who's your favorite character? Toothless. Tara, tell me a little bit about How to Train Your Dragon 2. What did you think of it? So far, it's very, very good. It's making us laugh and keeping us on the edge of our seats. Now, did you see the original How to Train Your Dragon? We did, and we've been excited for the second one to come out. Do you have a favorite? Is the first one better or the second one better? So far, I like the second one better, actually. Normally, the first ones are the better movie, but I'm liking the sequel. I bet you think you know a lot about dragons. So, Piper, what do you think of How to Train Your Dragon so far? Um, you trade him and you give him food. Is he a good dragon? Did you see the first movie? Um. Now, which is your favorite, the first How to Train Your Dragon or the second How to Train Your Dragon? The second How to Train Your Dragon. So, Doug, tell me what you thought about How to Train Your Dragon 2. Oh, it's good. It's pretty funny. Do you think the first one's better or the second one? Um, I didn't see the first one, to be honest. Uh, the second one's really good, though. It's funny. Any favorite parts so far? Um, the flying scenes are really realistic. I like that. Would you recommend this movie to everybody else out there? We'll come back, I'm sure. Unbelievable. You've been rescuing them. <laughs> when offered the gig to direct this film, director Dean Dubois originally said yes, but only if he could turn it into a trilogy. Since he was given the okay to make it a trilogy, he decided to make the sequel as a tribute to his youth. With Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back from 1980 having the pivotal inspiration for this film. What he loved about Empire is that it expanded Star Wars in every direction. Emotionally, its scope, characters, and fun. It felt like an embellishment and that's the goal for How to Train Your Dragon 2. He further explained that he finds it dangerous to second guess the audience and he wanted to make a movie that he would want to see himself. I'm not going to lie, this movie has a few sad moments, but it also has some fun, upbeat, and funny moments, as well as a little bit of Star Wars stuff going on that kind of feels a little bit like the whole Luke, I am your father, Darth Vader kind of stuff. All that being said, this sequel is just as good as the original, with all of the captivating moments and wonderful messages sent out to children, such as making children think for themselves. Plus, the characters are every bit as acute and they will seriously make you want to go out and buy your own pet dragon. For your movie moment, I'm Joanne. Dragons and Vikings! Enemies again! Oh! You know that doesn't wash out. 